Okay, so today I would like to share a um, product on what I've purchased recently. Um, so this is a power line adapter from TP Linked, and I need to purchase this because I have been having issue with my Wi-Fi, especially when I am having meeting at work. Uh, my Skype tend to disconnect a lot, and I I'm looking for solution to improve this, and I research online. Um, on the solution, I have decided to try out um, Powerline Adapter. Before I jump into the video, please subscribe if you have not as I will be doing a product review video every week to share my honest opinions and would love to have like-minded people around to provide comment and feedback. And of course, hoping my videos would be useful in helping your decision-making um, work process. As mentioned earlier, I had problems with getting stable Wi-Fi signal into my room. So I think there are a variety of um, options av available online. There are options like uh, Wi-Fi meshed and there are options like um, Powerline adapter, which is the one that I'm going to show today. So I had uh, Wi-Fi meshed and I actually pulled the Wi-Fi mesh as close as possible to my room um, but whenever I had my room door closed then that's where my Wi-Fi gets my Wi-Fi signal gets very unstable and I get disconnected from my meeting so I tried to find alternative, alternative solution and that is where I was introduced to um, power line adapter okay so I think it really depends on um, individual so let's say if you have a house that is very open means you don't do not have a lot of like walls across then maybe a Wi-Fi wi mesh is um, suitable for you because you just have to put in a Wi-Fi mesh at a certain location and this Wi-Fi mesh will help to amplify the Wi-Fi signal um, into your room but for my case um, it is just the way that my house is being um, partitioned there are, there are walls that really totally block um, my router which is near the optical fiber area is in the living room is actually there's a wall that's blocking off the Wi-Fi from from transmitting um through through the wall into the room so um i think the best way um, for me is actually to use power line which actually um, allow the internet speed to be transferred through power line and then i have a receiver in my room okay to actually um amplify the wi-fi so that i'll be able to have a stable um, wi-fi signal which can show you the difference between before and after First thing first, so I got this from Simlink Square and it costs $188. And I just want to share more about the power line background. Is that if you're looking for a power line adapter, so the only one that is um, offering power line adapter is actually TP Link. So it makes things easier because you only have one brand to consider and you all you need to do is really what kind of um, power line adapter you want in terms of the spec and for me i have chosen um, um the 2001 which is um i think the highest that they offer right now um, and the reason why i bought the highest one is, is really because i don't want to be uh, limited by the any form of um, equipment anymore so i just bought the highest one i can find and anyway it's it's only 188 dollars not too expensive and i believe i can use it um, next time when even after I upgrade um, my internet speed I hoped uh, AV2000 um, is still a good enough one okay so one more thing is that um, so this AV2000 mainly just tell you that um, the, the power line is at the 2000 spec um, another thing that I want to share is that there are other power line ad adapter which TP-Link offer um, that only cater for ethernet cable means like um, you connect um, power line from your socket that's near the router to the socket that is in your room and from there you need to connect an ethernet cable however for my kit the one that i produced here it offer both um, ethernet and also wi-fi so when my receiver is at um, my room okay i do not need to have another ethernet wire to connect to my laptop i can simply just connect using wi-fi so these are the differences and i just want to share it here so um, for those who are not aware which i wasn't initially now um, i sort of know that there are two types and i chose the one that offer both wi-fi 
and Ethernet service um, at the receiver side. So this TP-Link kit includes two components, a power line adapter and a matching extender. The kits give you a simple and inexpensive alternative to the tedious and expensive task of rewiring your whole um, home by snaking the ethernet cables through the walls. So this kit really, like the title mentioned, right, it's a power line. It makes use of your existing AC home wiring to deliver the network connectivity, saving um, your time, effort, and money. Okay, um, the kit makes it simple and easy. So what you have to do is um, you connect a router um, LAN port to the power line adapter. Um, the kit also provides use with two cables. Then you plug in your power line adapter into a wall. Okay, and then you plug the extender, which is the one where, where, you, where your workplace is, into your wall outlet, and that is in my room. Press the pair button on the power line adapter and extender. Once they are paired, okay, um, you can actually start um, using the Wi-Fi or a hard wire connection via their Ethernet cable, which they provide. Okay. Next, I would like to show you um, the test speed, okay, to just to see how much um, this power line has helped. So the before um, the installation of the power line, okay, I'm going to run a test. So you can see that the download speed is like 40 plus and the upload speed is also like 40 plus mbps it's it's really slow and my plan is actually 1 gbps so um i'm very limited by um the structure of my houses okay so this is the next test which is after i had um the power line cable installed and you can see that um, the speed is really greatly boosted um, by almost twice. So it was 40 initially and now it's like 80. And also for the upload speed, it was also 40 plus um, before. And now you can see that the after is actually close to um, 90 plus and my speed is so much faster. So I've come to the end of the video and I hope this um, video as usual has been useful for you. Please subscribe if you have not and please leave your comments and let me know um, if you have been facing any internet issue like me and what are the alternative solutions that um, you have to figure out. See you guys next week.